distant time and faraway place, the planet of New Texas floats deep in space. Sky of three suns, land of precious ore, the carrier rush brought outlaws by the score. And one day a lawman appeared with powers of pop, wolf, puma, and bear. Protector of peace, mystic man from afar. Champion of justice, Marshal Brave Star. Brave Star! Brave Star! Eyes of the hawk, ears of the wolf. Brave Star! Brave Star! Brave of the bear, king of the puma. Brave Star! Farewell, Sherlock Holmes, my old friend. Farewell. has already been taken. Awfully sorry, Dr. Watson. Whitson! Oh, bless you. The name's Whitson. Whitson! Bless you again. I do hope you find a place to stay soon. You sound like you're catching quite a cold. Strangest earth storm I've ever seen. Dashed peculiar. Quiet! This man is badly hurt. Get this cab to Harley Street Hospital 
Fest! Watson. That's Watson. Bless you. You, you. you humans are driving me positively batty. Yeah, now just rest easy. You have a number of broken bones that will have you fixed up in no time. Where am I? What is this place? Where on earth? What, what year is this? 2249, same as always. Yeah, now take it easy. You may be a little dizzy for a while. You are not human. No, Rigelian, that's me, and proud of it. Why? Rigelian, from the constellation Rigel? Yeah, that's right. Hmm. A large planet with high gravity, a hot, intensely bright sun, a thick, soupy atmosphere, and a strong, handsome native population. Ah, uh, you've been there, then. Uh, never heard of it before. I simply deduced it from your weight, your skin, your breathing, and your obvious pride. <laughs> yes, dash good. A deduction worthy of the legendary Sherlock Holmes himself. <sighs> Hardly surprising, since I am Sherlock Holmes. Galactic officials today are searching the cosmos for a carrion freighter that was hijacked in deep space. The freighter, which was richly loaded with carrion, was attacked and captured during an unexpected power failure. The passengers and crew were released unharmed by the pirates. But the ship and its cargo have vanished. We'll have more on that story as it develops. And now for a special report. Dr. Whitson of Harley Street Hospital announced today that the legendary detective Sherlock Holmes has appeared here in the 23rd century. Having apparently fallen through a natural time warp and been transported some 356 years into the future. Curious about this new century, Mr. Holmes is now headed for his famous old address of 221B Baker Street, where he will be met by the well-known Scotland Yard agent, Mycroft Holmes, who is a direct descendant of the Holmes family. And now for the weather. Thank you for the hat and coat, Dr. Whitson. I am grateful. Pshaw, uh, uh, boy. Can't have you catching cold. Whitson! <laughs> I know what your name is. Uh, no, no. No, I sneezed. Whitson! This century is certainly confusing. This confounded scanner pipe, for instance. I simply cannot get it to function. Why can't I have my old one? Uh, uh, tobacco's been outlawed, old boy. It was dangerous. Oh, I was aware of that. I see this century has more sense than mine, but I still can't figure out this confounded gadget. Uh, well, look on the bright side, Mr. Holmes. You're lucky to be alive. Natural time warps are extremely rare. I dare say. I wonder what caused it. It must have been opened by that strange lightning. <laughs> I say, old boy, you, 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 you've got sparks coming out of your fingers. So I notice. Curious, a residual effect of the lightning, no doubt. Shall we return to the hospital? I might be able to remove the effect. No, I think not. It may turn out to be useful. Let's go on to Baker Street. I am eager to meet this descendant of my brother. Mycroft, eh? Begging your pardon, Governor. Uh, but could you spare a bit of change for a lad down on his luck? You should be in school, you young scoundrel. Oh, by all means, Gov. But it's a tragic thing. I've lost me turbo bus fare, I have. So, if you kindly gents be sweet enough to spare this poor lad some change, I'd not be forced to go back to me poor old mum who... Yike! Dash it all. Oh, a trickster, eh? 
Stealing is wrong, as I'm sure you know. Besides, there are other... Get to safety. Come on, you children. Not without you. Yes, definitely useful. Sherlock Holmes, I presume? I am. And you, I deduce, are Mycroft. Right. Scotland Yard, Agent Mycroft Holmes at your service. Welcome to the 23rd century, Uncle Sherlock. I say, Holmes, you're amazing. How did you deduce who it was? Elementary, my dear Whitson. The lady is wearing a name tag. Yes, I'm sure. Hang on, Uncle. I'll walk you to Baker Street soon as I have these thugs taken in for questioning. This is Yard Agent Mycroft Holmes calling Chief Inspector Kitty Lestrade. Wonderful. The old place hasn't changed a bit. Everything's here but Watson. Of course. It's a museum. A Sherlock Holmes museum. Really? I am surprised to find myself so well remembered. But it's a bit of luck since... Don't touch that. What? It's a valuable antique. But it's mine. It belongs to the museum. But... Yes? Mr. Sherlock Holmes, the consultant detective? I am. Who are you? And what may I do for you? My name's Bravestar, Mr. Holmes. And I could use your help. I'm the planetary marshal of New Texas, a world about 600 parsecs from here. I've been searching for the carrium freighter that got hijacked. It was headed for Earth before it vanished. Bit out of your jurisdiction, isn't it, Marshal? Space piracy is handled by the Star Marines. That's right. But I'm not really concerned about the freighter or the carrium that was on it. New Texas has plenty more. But if you remember from the news reports, the crew and passengers were released? Uh, yes, I, I remember hearing about it. Well, they missed one. A boy. A strange alien boy named Fleeter. He gets... That was not reported. Nobody knew. The boy was a runaway. We didn't know where he came from. Found him after a meteor storm. Lost in the middle of the desert. No idea where he's from or who his family is. I put him in a new Texas boys' school while I looked for his family, but he ran off. He snuck aboard the carrium shipment and stowed away on the freighter. But soon as I figured out what happened, I hopped a fast space liner and came out here. Figured I'd meet the freighter and just be there when the boy got off. He was a strange boy. Hardly ever talked, just sang. Beautiful singing. It made pictures, but he was real shy. That's why I showed up quietly. I didn't want to cause a scene scare him to death. That was very sweet of you. Yeah, well, it, it didn't work out that way. The ship got hijacked, and Fleeter with it. He could be in real danger, and I feel sort of responsible for him, but I'm not a detective, and you're the best that ever was. Will you help me? My dear sir, but of course. But you'll realize, however, that I am rather unfamiliar with this sentry. But I'm not. I'll help too. And I... Really, I'm much obliged, folks. I... Look out! Dash it! No! Hang on! I am coming! What's going on? 
down here. Oh, no. No, 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 no. No. Hang on, Uncle. Speed of the Puma. <laughs> Now, for a little mind control. How did you boys get here? Baskerville here tracked you home, Gov. And when we saw this blighter pull you out the window, I thought I'd step in. You save me, I save you. We're even, Gov. Not really. You deserve a reward. I was sure that... <laughs> That's what I thought too, Gov. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Yes, that container should keep him from escaping with his vaporous powers. Good work, Mike. Thank you, Chief. Uncle Sherlock, let me introduce my boss, Chief Inspector Kitty Lestrade. A pleasure to meet you, ma'am. Lestrade. Are you by any chance a descendant of the Inspector Lestrade of my era? My great-great-great-great-great-great-grandfather, Mr. Holmes. You often helped him on cases. That I did. And I hope I can continue to be of service in this century. I'm sure you will. <clears throat> Mike, I'm afraid that those thugs you uh, apprehended would not talk. Someone paid their bail with a chunk of carrium and they were released. Carrium? Interesting. Looks like we're going to have to depend on Mr. Fogg here to answer our questions then. Now then, Mr. Fogg, suppose you start talking. Why were you trying to abduct me? Because I was hired to do it, you fool. But I didn't know who by. He wore a mask, he did. And never gave me a name. Just told me to capture Sherlock Holmes, he did. How much did he pay you? I didn't know what you're talking about. Come off it, Fog. We're with the Yard. We know your record. You love money, gold, and jewels. What did he pay you? Or do I have to run you through a strainer and find it myself? Ah, great. Two chunks of carrium it was. A thin advance. That's carrium, all right. And you don't find it on Earth. It must have been from the freighter that was hijacked. It would appear that our fortunes are joined together, Marshal Bravestar. Whoever is trying to capture me, for whatever reason, is also the man who pirated the carrium freighter with young Fleeter aboard. Mr. Fogg, if you had been successful in capturing me, what would you have done with me? No. Why should I be answering that? Because a boy's life is at stake, you steamy... Marshal, please, let us be civilized. I will try a little gentle persuasion. I'm a special yard agent with a license to destroy, and I'm going to use it in three seconds if you don't start talking. One. Two. A warehouse on Tweak Street. I was supposed to take home to a warehouse on Tweak Street. That's all I know. I swear. My niece certainly has crude methods. I know, but she gets results. Well, if you're done with Fogg, I'll take him in and book him. Be my guest. And what do we do now, Uncle Sherlock? We're going to take a little trip to a warehouse on Tweak Street. Yes, I say, this is turning into quite an adventure. That must be it. It matches Fogg's description. Hmm. It would appear to be locked. No problem. Strength of the... Oh, never mind. Most spectacular. However, this one is open. <laughs> Str 
strange. The place would appear to be deserted. I have a sinking feeling about this. <laughs> and now, here are some exciting scenes from the next and concluding episode of Sherlock Holmes in the 23rd Century. 